Hey guys, welcome to the gun shop with Little John and Big Dave. And we're here today to do a trap gun versus skeet gun. Mostly because we've been shooting other guns and I just need a reason to get mine out so I could shoot a little bit more adequately. It's just gonna be nice to sort of prove as well that you can do more than just one thing with trap one gun. Trap, trap, skeet, with skeet. A lot of people come in and they say, oh, I can't buy a skeet gun, I'm after sporting. For most of local sporting, a skeet gun will do. Well, yeah. oh, you can't have a trap gun for shooting sporting. Shooting stuff with full choke is the coolest thing you'll ever do. As hopefully we're about to demonstrate. Anyway, we're here at South Downs Gun Club and... Um, enjoy. Let's, let's enjoy. <laughs> Right, so we decided to come and shoot skeet on the skeet layout with a trap gun and a skeet gun. Uh, with the wind, this one operates like a super Olympic trap and that one is operating like a super English trap. We'll give it a go. Yes, it's gonna be fun. Are we gonna shoot it English style or Olympic? Olympic. Olympic style skeet, here goes. So we've got a single and a pair now. So Sasha says he can't capture the kill because I'm too tall. So now I'm shooting the rest of the round on disability, uh, dis benefit, this, whatever it is. All right. This is hard enough as it was. All right. Pull. Oh, it was supposed to be a flip pair, sorry Dave. Pull. As I was born at an adequate height, I'm not going to go onto my knees. Because I'm not getting paid 50 quid for it. Pull! Pull! Shoot then. You can definitely notice the brakes, the difference between the choking and the brakes. Um, Johnny's is obviously puffing them up a lot more. Yours is a nice starburst. Yeah. As it should be, really. Yeah. Do I have to go on my knees again? making that low house bird completely pointless. However, I think on the second half of the... Yeah. Second half of the course, it should make it a bit easier. Yeah. Hopefully. stand at the circle here uh, before we go into the center. Uh, good luck. Yeah. It requires you to be a little bit faster now. Because we set up for English skeet, there is no centre stand. Because of the wind, I can't stand. It's supposed to be a couple of yards behind the cross pole there. Um, but we can't stand there because the wind is driving these clays all over the place. It hasn't really been an accurate representation of skeet. However, you can't do it without the best stand at the mall. Which is the only place that glasses really are necessary. Boom! Remember how to shoot it? Stab it. Yeah. 
stab it. Pull! In front both times. Yeah. Let's have a go. Oh! Beautiful. Sometimes you just need to remember how to do it and then do it that way. <laughs> I've enjoyed shooting a bit of skeet with these guns. Uh, they're lovely. They're Old real good. Japanese should, proper guns. Should we go and have just a last little play on the sporting, just a few shells, just to see what they're like in sporting context? Let's go find the longest crosser. See what the difference is. By no means should people be let down. People go, trap guns, they're a trap. You know, shouldn't buy one of them. Skeet guns, don't buy them. You can't break long clays with that. We're never going to do these guns their full amount of justice in this test, but it's going to give you a fair inkling of where you can stand with these guns. If you just want to go around all your local straw balers, beaters days, bit of a pigeon skeet shooting. Gun is more than adequate. Same with a trap gun. Exactly. You're just going to have mild disadvantages occasionally. Yeah. However, you're not. If you're on it, you're, you're on, on it. it. It is very much horses for courses, but at the same time, go out and have fun. Buy what you can afford. Don't try and bust your pockets. That gun's for... 350 quid. Yeah. That is literally the biggest bargain in the world. Yeah. This gun's not for sale, it's mine. So we came back to stand three, which we came to earlier to film. Cheap gun versus expensive gun. And I, honestly, I struggled with these long crosses with both of those guns. None of them fit too well, none of them handle too well because of that fit in ground comparison. With my gun, a nice big heavy trap gun, long crosses, boom, boom, boom. Your turn, skeet time. Just goes to show that the skeet choke, even at a range that's a good 40 yard clay, really. Yeah. 35, 40 yeah. yards. Smashes it to hell. It's where you put it. However, we reckon you hit the first one you did with your second shot. We can watch that back later on. And it did the just, footage, it dipped. But... I mean, it dipped good hard. Yeah. Almost you could hear it, maybe. Yeah. Um, because one piece of shot from a cheaper cartridge like a Game of Velocity, which, by the way, in the plastic quad is a hell of a shell but it's cheap as chips, so you can't expect everything. But one bit of cheap shot ain't gonna do it. Yeah. Can I have a quick go with that? Yeah, of course. Thanks, mate. I'll have a go with yours in a minute, if that's yeah, right. Yeah, of course. So I just got into the stand with the skeet gum, and as you saw, smash two. Yeah. You have to work a little harder. You know, it doesn't glide through the air quite the same. You've got to push but it. But at the same time, if you need to correct by foot, yeah, you do. But it does take a little bit of, of something. I'd much rather have an old Japanese gun like that than a modern Cox or something. Yeah. They're just better, an better engineered. An 800 is a damn good gun. Yeah. I love it. Let's anyway. have a go with your big boys gun. Take it out. I'd shoot that gun up because Johnny's stock is enormously large. Sackle. Um, I'm a biter, by the way. <laughs> I'll stay far away from you, that good. Um, Handle's a little bit nicer for the longer range of your targets. I've got that bit more control and I can measure more. But still broke it exactly the same as the skeet gun, so. Oh, I'd like to think it broke it more positively, man. Yeah. Broke it more positively, but yeah. 100 chips is better than 99. The beauty of a skeet gun, on a stand where you've no idea what's gonna come out, apart from the card says it's right to left, it's that much more reactive. Uh, we're just on the search for the longest target we can find to see if we can find a clay that this can't bust. All right, that was only about 25, 30 yards. Let's move out and find something further. However, obviously the gun handled it perfectly well because that's pretty small. Yeah. So I'm going to get in the stand. We've got a standard right to left and a standard away. Uh, 
I'm hoping that right to left is off the trap at the top, but you never know. So I'm going to get in with the beautiful little Skeeter, give her a smash. That does show the, the pattern capabilities a little bit, two chips on one yeah. play. Um, we have another go quickly, then we're gonna get John's big long range cannon out. All right, so uh, we've brought the big boy out now. And we're gonna see, I mean, it's very representative. We are in a grouse, but it's representative of grouse swimming across the top of a knoll there. Uh, or it's representative of a good killable partridge really it's good probably probably 40 by the time you're killing it yeah it's a nice 40 yard bird 35 depends how long you leave it right i'm going to shoot that long crosser John wanted to try and shoot as far away as he can, so I'm going to see if I can do it. So what have we discovered today? You can break everything with everything as long as you put it in the right place. At a fairly decent level playground, which we're on, if you point any gun at anything, put it in the right place, it will break it. It will break it. You can learn that for a 300 pound gun, 350 pound gun, you can come out on a clay ground and break everything. You'll have a lot more people saying, oh, that's a nice gun, than, oh, what's that Turkish piece of... See, I know you hate Turkish stuff, but there, there's a lot of advantage to Turkish stuff because you need multi-chokes on the ground like this, as we proved today. Yeah. I really? like the Yield It's, the oh, Yield It's Pro Sport, that's a wonderful gun. Yeah, I don't know that CEO DT-10 affair, that was quite yeah. smart too. I, I don't all of them, to be honest, but I'm not that much of a gun snob that if they're free, I wouldn't use yeah. it, but the two guns we wore out today, I mean, of course I'm in love with it, my baby, but I wouldn't say no to that 350 quid gun. So I suppose that's almost a little bit of a cheap gun versus expensive gun as well, not that it's worth five pence either. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you uh, enjoyed. I hope you've enjoyed it more than anything. Hope you can spend a little bit of time arguing and commenting of how ridiculous it is that you can go out clay shooting with a trap gun. And how um, awful we are. We already know we're bad, so... Yeah, well, I'd like you to come down and uh, give us a lesson. Alternatively, you won't.